Four Caribbean Union pastors conduct evangelistic series in North Jamaica Conference. Manigas Day takes church beyond the walls. Lime Hall continues to feed the multitudes. Moments with Jesus. Sennens Bay High Preparatory School conducts week of prayer. Welcome to the NJC Focus. I'm Pastor Jermaine Johnson. The details after the break. Stay tuned. Go. Hello there. I'm Pastor Al Powell, Youth Director for the Inter-American Division. You're watching NJC Focus. Stay tuned. As part of a cross-cultural evangelistic initiative between the Caribbean and Jamaica Union conferences, scores of pastors have been dispersed digitally across Jamaica to proclaim the gospel. Four such pastors have been dispatched to North Jamaica Conference and are currently conducting two-week series in the Spring Garden and Reese Friendship Districts in Trelawney and the Claremont, Salem and Bamba Districts in St. Anne. Let's take a look at the highlights. And it's called the final crisis. My friend, if you are living in the last days, you need to take note of this prophecy. If you are living in the last days, and I know we are living in the last days because one, one disease called corona, vi the coronavirus has taken, has sh caused the world to be on shutdown. The world who existed was in the beginning with God and was by him. All things were made and without him, nothing was made that was made. John tells us in, in John chapter 1 and verse 14 that the word, this word became flesh and dwelt among us. I, I said the word became flesh and dwelt among us. We will confess, the redeemed will sing, the Lord God is true and righteous. The Lord God is true and righteous in all thy ways and judgments. So your body physical and the non-physical things that make you up, they are all belonging to God. That's why you can't just give the, the devil your excitement. We invite you to come on board and support this series on the various Zoom, Facebook, and YouTube platforms on which they are being streamed. The Seventh-day Adventists in Monique St. Anne have taken church beyond the walls with this morning's inspiration on Sabbath mornings as several members walk through the communities singing hymns of joy and inspiring the hearts of many while distributing literature and catering to the needs of the community. No, this is just awesome. Great waking up to this. Yes. Great, great. I thought it was coming from no, here. Spirit filled. I, I, I actually Spirit looked filled. up first before I looked out. I, I thought it, I, I was saying like awesome. This, this was coming down from heaven. So we thanks. It's good. it's good. Further to that initiative, this week the church distributed over sixty-five thousand dollars worth of care packages to several needy members of the community. We invite you to continue to cater to the needs of those who are close to you, as we share the love of Jesus Christ by helping those who are around us. The North Jamaica Conference continues to partner with its 17 pastoral districts to cater to the needs of those who are in the various communities that are served in Trinoni and St. Anne. This week, the conference partnered with the Lime Hall Church in the Sanders Bay District to distribute several hot meals and care packages. This took place on Thursday and many hearts were blessed. Let's take a look. Kenneth Black, from mm -hmm. Higginton, St. Mm -hmm. Church. Mm -hmm. And um, we know that things is rough, so we are in a church where you go and you this package. Mm -hmm. yeah, God is very good. Mm -hmm. Take care and God bless you. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Sennens Bay High Preparatory School has just concluded its Moments with Jesus Week of Prayer with Evangelist Ray and Daly. The program, which began on Monday, saw several individuals tuning in daily, including parents, teachers, and students. Chaplain of the Sennens Bay High Preparatory School, Pastor Dermar Watson, tells us more about what happened. The Sennens Bay High and Preparatory School had its week of spiritual emphasis during the Moments with Jesus week of prayer held this week. We were indeed blessed by the powerful prayer sessions, the soul-steering music, as well as the insightful presentations that were made. We were also spiritually charged by the Holy Spirit as he utilized evangelist Ryan Daly to share the words of truth. The program was aired on the YouTube and the Zoom platforms. The Sentence Behind Preparatory School extends sincere gratitude to all the individuals who would have supported us throughout this particular initiative. And more so, we want to thank the Lord Jesus Christ for his rich blessings 
that he would have given to us during this week of spiritual emphasis. Thank you, and may God continue to bless us all. Hear me, my brother. Hear me, my sister. Put your hand in the hand of Almighty God. The North Jamaica Conference wishes Happy Administrative Professionals Week 2021 to all of its support staff at the North Jamaica Conference Office, the Sentence Behind Preparatory, and the Falmouth SDA Preparatory Schools. We want to affirm our administrative support workers as they continue to assist in the various ministries across the conference. Happy Administrative Professionals Week 2021. We appreciate you. On each episode of the NJC Focus, we bring you NJC obituaries celebrating the saints across North Jamaica Conference. Let's take a look at the latest. Let's keep these families in our prayers as they continue to mourn, even as we anticipate the soon return of our Lord Jesus Christ, when by His grace we will be reunited with our loved ones. And here are some announcements to bear in mind. And that's it for the latest edition of the NJC Focus. Remember to send us what's happening in your neck of the woods so that we can highlight the same here on NJC Focus. Join us this evening on NCU TV for rebroadcast as well as in the morning. And next week, same place, same time for another episode of the NJC Focus. And until then, happy Sabbath.